Yeah, I would like to, since your, the title of your book is, is Ageless, and you also mentioned the negligible sentences in your speech. And uh, I was wondering, what is the difference between biological immortality and immortality? And do you believe yeah. there is uh, a limit in life, in someone's lifespan? Yeah, one of the most common questions I get is, you know, can we make humans immortal? And immortal is just this, it's, it's a big word, right? Like, like immortality is a long time. And I think it's mm -hmm. really important to say this isn't what we're talking about here, because um, immortality is literally no risk of death. There's nothing that can kill you. But even if we were to cure aging, even if we were to become biologically immortal, you could still get hit by a bus. You could still contract an infectious disease that killed you. Like even people in their 30s, it's much, much rarer, uh, thankfully, but they still can tragically get cancer. They can get heart disease. They can get these problems. Um, the idea of treating aging is just to make these problems happen later and later in life. And I actually think Harriet the tortoise is a really good example here. She died of a heart attack. It's just that she died in her 170s rather than 70s as humans might. And so the idea is to defer those causes of death as late as possible. And then hopefully um, just sort of fall off a cliff at the end of life, having been happy and healthy for almost all of your long life, and then just to suddenly die of something. You know, that would be, the, be the thing that we'd be hoping to achieve. In terms of limits to human lifespan, I just don't think we know the answer to this. So the oldest person ever recorded is a French woman called Jeanne Calmont, who lived up to 122 years old. But she did so, and in fact, every human who ever who's been alive has done so without the benefit of medicines that can intervene in the aging process. We've got amazing medical technology now. We can you know, treat certain kinds of cancer. We can slow down the progress of heart disease. We can do all kinds of things, but none of these have altered our fundamental biological rate of aging. And so I think now that we've got that ability and we can hopefully start to roll it out into human beings in the next few years, I just don't think we really know what the limit could be. Yeah, thank you for your answers. And I agree that we cannot avoid all those accidents, but still we can uh, reach out, reach to those uh, negligible sentences or biological immortality. 